Hello folks, we're at least 5 months away from the launch of the Galaxy S24, but most details about Samsung's upcoming high-end phones have leaked already. All three phones in the lineup, Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus and Galaxy S24 Ultra are getting some impressive upgrades, and despite featuring a 200 megapixels primary camera like its predecessor, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will use a new S sensor. While it is already known that Samsung will stick to a 200 megapixel sensor for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the company was expected to use the same sensor it used in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. But that's not the case. According to reliable tipster ICE Universe, the Galaxy S24 Ultra features the 200 megapixels ISOCELL HP2SX camera sensor, a more optimized version of the ISOCELL HP2 used in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. It has an optical format of 1 by 1.3 inch and an individual pixel size of 0.7 micrometers. It will likely feature super core phase detection autofocus, 8K 30fps video recording and 16-in-1 and 4-in-1 pixel pinning modes. It has already been revealed that the Galaxy S24 Ultra uses an upgraded telephoto camera with a 50 megapixel sensor. It will be paired with a 3x optical zoom lens and optical image stabilization, resulting in a massive jump in performance when it comes to details. It will reportedly offer optical quality 5x zoom thanks to a combination of a bigger sensor and in sensor cropping. The phone will report use the same 12 megapixel selfie camera, 12 megapixels ultra camera and 10 megapixels telephoto camera 10x zoom used in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Other features of the Galaxy S24 Ultra include the Snapdragon Edge and 3 processor, 12 or 16 gigabytes RAM, 256, 512, 1TB storage, an in-display fingerprint reader, IP68 rating, stereo speakers, a titanium frame and a 5000mAh battery with 45W fast charging. It will likely feature 15 watt fast wireless charging and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging. The phone will run Android 14 out of the box. Samsung Display has been making OLED panels for all iPhones since the iPhone X was released. All high-end iPhone models use Samsung's OLED panels, which will continue to happen next year. In fact, it is being reported that Samsung Display will make a new type of OLED screen for the iPhone 16 series. According to a report from the ELEC, Apple is weighing on using OLED panels with MLA Micro Lens Array technology for the iPhone 16 lineup. OLED panels with MLA offer higher brightness and improved power efficiency, and such a screen has already been used in LG's latest flagship OLED TVs. Both LG Display and Samsung Display have offered to make OLED panels with MLA, but Apple hasn't made the final decision yet. MLA panels use a layer of billions of lenses on top of the screen to reduce internal reflections and focus the direction of the light output toward the screen. This efficiently uses the existing Existing light output and improves perceived brightness without increasing power consumption. It then leads to improved power efficiency. However, this technology can also sometimes reduce light luminance towards the sides when looking at the screen from the sides, resulting in narrowed viewing angles. All at panels with MLA are also costlier, so Apple needs to weigh the advantages and disadvantages of such panels before making the final decision. Samsung has already used an MLA layer to improve the brightness of the OLED panels and supplied such panels to some Chinese smartphone brands. Apple is trying to develop and manufacture its own micro LED screens for future iPhones to reduce its reliance on Samsung Display and LG Display. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Good luck to all!